and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to go over one of the easiest methods to make tons of coins in Madden 20. Now, this method is something that I've been employing for multiple years in Madden. Multiple years. I actually haven't made a video on it this year, and I don't know why I haven't. I mean, it could be because people probably, you know, it's kind of self-explanatory to an extent, but in another way, it might not exactly be to a lot of you guys. It's something that is pretty much just like common sense when it comes to Madden, although not entirely if you don't study the market enough. I mean, maybe just for me, because I've, I've been doing this since like Madden 13, when like the original, Madden 12 actually, I, don't, I think it was Madden 12, the original Ultimate Team. This is kind of how I always made coins. I've always been able to be relatively no money spent. Guys, I'm not entirely no money spent for all you guys who comment, why do I have 50 points? I only spend pack money on the level of packs for the most part. I don't really buy actual bundles, although that will be changing come Madden 21, so stay tuned for that. But guys, before we hop into this method and we go over all the ways to make coins and how much coins I usually make doing this now, I don't really talk about it much, but you guys always say how do my coins go up? This is one of the ways they do go up. I just, I am always doing this left and right. I'm always just picking up players and doing this. But guys, before we get into the video, I just want to let you guys know I am running a really cool like goal. A giveaway type thing i did it on my morning video if you guys haven't seen it already pretty much for every certain amount of likes i will be giving away coins so very simple i don't have the biggest channel so guys it's a great chance you can win for every 50 likes so earlier i did every 40 likes every 50 likes that i get on this video i will give away 10,000 coins so it's very simple we usually get about on this video usually we get about well, between 100 200 likes so let's say this video gets 200 likes that's 40,000 coins more than likely this video could get like 800 likes right if it gets to 800 likes I could add up to all the way up to about 160,000 coins, guys. If we get 1,000 likes in this video, you can get over 200k, guys. 2,000 likes, you can get over 400k. And like I said, one of the requirements to enter is that you are subscribed and that you are commenting down below. So I'd recommend you comment your number, the like number you were, which would be really cool because I can just see an order of everyone who liked. But any comment will work. But guys, a lot of people are forgetting to comment on the other one. So remember, if I only get 50 comments and I get 500 likes, that means you guys are in line for like 100,000 VC. And only like 35 commenters, so that means that you have a great chance of winning. So I highly recommend to all you guys entering this giveaway. Spam that like button, guys. The quicker we get the likes, the quicker we can do this. And hopefully, you know, hopefully by the end of the day, we have like 500 likes in this video, guys. If you're new to gang, you're here, you come every day, like this video. There's a great chance for me to get back to one of you guys, and hopefully, you guys can win some of the rewards here. And I'll be doing this quite a lot towards the end of the Madden season, since I'm gonna have a lot of coins and I'm not gonna have as much to do with them, guys. So just make sure you spam that like button. Let's get as many likes in this video, guys. Know gang, go strong, and let's see what we can get to, guys. Remember. Not a lot of people are commenting, so there's a great chance of winning. Let's get into the method. So first things first, guys, heading over to the auction block. One of the greatest things that I've been doing for years in Madden, you guys already know about the whole buy low, sell high, right? Now, this specifically has always worked with a specific content drop. One content drop that I'm talking about, typically on a Saturday, is going to be the Legends and Open Legend content drop. So this is always where I've made my most coins in Madden. Like, it's always been Legends. Legends, I've, I always hinted it to you guys on Legends Saturday, but I've never made a purely dedicated video to it. Now, Legends have always been like this. And we'll give, let me give you some background here. So, we go over to the base Legends, right? The base Legends right here, you go over to Quality. Let's go over to the original drops, like 1991. And these are some of the cards where I started making my coins on this year. So, let's say, kept them away, right? I used to always do this. So, on Saturdays, I buy my players. And then I'd sell them at loaded dates. Now, let me explain to you why I do this. Now, I have some, I have some Mudhead prices to show you guys over on the desktop in just a second i'll get to everything but pretty much just like economics it works like supply and demand so when there's high supply and there's low demand prices go down when there's really high supply even with good demand the prices should still go down as long as it's not insane demand i'll get to that in just a second then when the demand's crazy high or the demand or the demand's like decent even if the demand's here, right? If the demand's here, if the supply is ever below the demand, the prices go up. If the supply is over the demand, usually the prices go down. So the beauty of this is, guys, I remember early in the year I got Kevin Mawai. I bought him for like, he just like Legend Saturday. And by the way, guys, always wait to the following week. And I'll explain that method. Oh, there's a lot to talk about, guys. So just stay with me as much as you can. Always rewind, if anything, if you get lost throughout this video. But pretty much the way I've done this is, I always wait to the following Saturday to pick up any card. I never do it the Saturday of. I made that very clear. So you always wait for older releases. Now the older releases, right? So let's say Kevin Moway is 160. He was 160 on Saturday. He was coming out of packs crazy fast. People were trying to pull the new legends. He was there. I picked him up. Come like Wednesday, middle of the week. People still want Kevin Moway, but not a lot of people are. There's no legend packs in the store, which is the beauty of it. No legend packs in the store during the week. So 
prices go back up. Now he goes to 220K. I'm like, okay, let me sell him. So I sell him after reduction, I get 200K, that's 40K gain. Now remember on a larger scale with a lot more coins, you can do a lot more with this than just that. So let's kick it up down. Let's kick it up to the Ultimate Legends. Let me explain to you guys this in full and kind of how I do this and show you guys kind of what I've been making. Kind of that's, if you guys have been wondering how I build my team up without spending much money on the game, it's pretty much how I do it. So Ultimate Legends, right? Because of these packs coming out, and guys, this works best when new content comes out that's banger, right? So today we got Brian Dawkins, Ed Tutal Jones, and Dan Dewarf. Three banger players, everyone's loving them. So what does that mean? People are opening packs. So when they open packs, a lot of cards are getting sold on the market. People are quick selling, like getting rid of things as quickly as possible to get coins for the new cards. So that does mean that there's an influx of cards. So what does that mean is that cards will be coming down in price. So for instance, guys like Shannon Sharp, 260, decent price. But I'm not even filtered out. Let's say Mark Sal. Mark Sal, which is 400k. Troy Polamalu is 296, guys. Just to give you guys reference, Troy Polamalu was probably the best strong safety in the game. He's 296, 320. He was just 390k a few days ago. So the, the reason I wait for older releases is exactly why. So let me get to this part of the method. So let's say today Brian Dawkins comes out. Brian Dawkins is going to be going for a lot because he's brand new. So he's going to be going for about 549. So you never want to do this method with the new legends because they're going to come down. You wait to the following week or so. Then you'll go to this base price, like let's say 400, 350. And then you work from there. You always got to wait till the cards hit their equilibrium price. When they hit their base price, like their base price, you know they're going to hover in and out of. That's when you start buying cards. You never buy cards when they're on like the downturn, just coming out of packs. You're going to lose too many coins that way. Another guy that was a really good investment. And I'll show you guys him right here. So that was Walter Jones. So when Walter Jones first came out, like he was just flying out of packs. There was eight Ultimate Legends. There were so many of them flying out of packs. Picked him up for 260. Now he's 340. But when Legend Saturday first hit today, he went down for a little bit and then he came right back up. So the point is here, guys, the best time to do this specifically for me, in my opinion, is right after things start flying out of packs. So let's say 10.30 packs come out. By 11, you want to be sitting hot and heavy on the market. So like 10.45 to 11.30 is when you want to do it. It still works now, but it's not as hard because at 10.30, all the YouTubers are opening packs, all the content guys who watch these, all the guys who watch the content guys like us, they're opening packs. People who just like to open packs on Saturday, they're opening packs, guys. That's the best time to do it. Let me take you over to Monday real quick to show you guys a quick little chart. As you guys can see here at the Troy Polamalu chart, the day he dropped, right? It was from here to here. He went to 399. Like I said, you never touch him that first week. You let him come to their base price. So he came to his base price. Right here, 352, and then come the 12th. Now, the 12th, guys, was approximately three days ago. So let's bring out the calendar so I can get the date out for you. So the 12th was a Wednesday. So Wednesday is when he hit his base price. Now, until Saturday, there was not really much coming out for him to go back, uh, to go down anymore. So 335 is like his base price I want to keep him at. Then, during the week, because he was not in, what's it called, that he's not in packs or anything, people really aren't pulling for him, he goes up to 357. And Trip Trippel model is not always the best example because he already had lost a lot of value just off of his initial drop. He's only 96, but you guys see the point here, right? 335, 346, 357. Now, to today, 332, and as you guys just saw, 296, we just saw him for. So that would be a difference of if you had sold him come Wednesday for about, you guys, and remember, always sell at night. See, 357 was one of his high prices. What I like to do is at night, I'll put him up for like eight hours, put him up for like 370. So let's say you can sell him for like 370 overnight. Then you get, after reduction, you get about 335, 340. And then you could have right now had just bought him back for 296, as we just saw. So let me give you guys a differential. Had you made back on reduction about 340, so 340K minus 296 would have gave you a net gain of 44,000 coins. I remember you need coins, you need to get more gains. It's just like stocks, right? One stock goes up, you make that much. If you can buy 10 of those stocks, you gain 10 times that much. So that's just one example. Let's head back over to the man screen. Let's see that. So you made 44 carat there, right? Now let's say you could have done this on a larger scale. Let's say you have a million coins. That means you can buy about three Troy Palomalu. So times your profit by three. Now you got 132K. And even better guys, when they drop a real big banger, like, like a banger banger week, you're gonna make even more money. And I'll explain to you why now, because when bangers drop, Car, people open up even more packs. So let's say right now there's decent cards coming out. So let's say you pick up this Saturday, you pick up some Troy Palomalos or whatever for 296. Come during this week, you might go for like 340, 350. You sell them, you make about 20k per, you buy three of whatever, you make 70k. And even better, come that Saturday, let's say they drop Michael Vick. People are going to be ripping a crazy amount of packs, which does in essence mean that things are going to drop. Things are going to actually absolutely crash which will then lend to you buying back Palomalu for an even cheaper price. Now, this implies that you want to keep the card, right? That's what, I, that's what I always do, guys. I always make money on my cards before I actually end up keeping them. So, like, I'll buy Palomalu, I'll wait till he goes up, I'll sell him, and then Saturday I'll buy him back. And that little differential I made between that 
will be the profit that goes towards a new card. Now, if you're just a coin guy, you want to just build up coins, you can do it just that way. But like I said, guys, this will vary week to week, but it gets it'll it, it really doesn't go bad. The only way it'll go bad is if they drop like a defensive tackle no one wants, like a, a left a left end that no one wants, or like a left guard, and no one wants any of it, or a fullback and no one wants it. And even then, the prices will still change because people will still be opening packs. But the more rare the cards that come out, the more that the older weeks releases will go down in value, which means you can always pick them up. So pretty much on Saturdays. You pick up those cards for as cheap as you can and then come wednesday like middle of the week like when it's dead dead no content and this works best at this time of the madden season because we don't have like heavyweights flashbacks veterans we have nothing coming out like on a day-to-day -day basis that can really keep the market alive so you want to take advantage of that and just pretty much watch the market you see they go up and at night i promise you guys at night put things up for like eight hours put it up like an extra five to ten k more to kind of kill the reduction a little bit and that's it you and then as you keep building your coins so let's say this week you only had enough for two cards and you make 100k total from those two cards. The next week you have enough for three cards. You make another 150k. Before you know it, you have a uh, half a million coins. Then you can buy like five of them. You keep doing. Before you know it, you have millions. Now this, uh, you can do this starting next year, starting at the beginning for all Legend weeks. I have hinted at it, but I decided to make a dedicated video towards it. Because Ultimate Legends have always been some of the greatest cards to make profit on, considering how easy this method is to do. But guys, it is about it for this video. If you guys do this properly, you could gain easily. With if you have a million coins to start, you can make about probably I'd say about 300k, 400k a week every every drop if you have only like enough like 500k you could probably make about 100k a week but it just adds up it's free money and you still get to keep the players and you get 100k or you can just sell the whole thing it's really up to you guys but that is about it for the video guys if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe to the channel comment down below your number that you were of likes and make sure to like the videos enter the giveaway remember every 50 likes will be 10k so if you guys blow this video up and you get a lot of likes probably going to be a very high coin reward and make sure you to enter you must be subscribed and you must have commented down below because i will be pulling the comments so make sure you are commented and if you're not, I mean, that makes it easier for everyone else to win because I can only pull less comments. But make sure you're liked, make sure you're commented, and subscribe. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.